Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, this is just a short video to let you guys know what's coming. Um, we're going to be doing a tax series on the SACOM 911 YouTube channel. The reason why we're going to be doing a tax series on the SACOM 911 YouTube channel is to help you individuals out who are doing your taxes. Now, I need you all to pay attention and understand something. Because a lot of people are not going to get this and a lot of people are not going to understand because they're not going to get it and they're not going to understand. When we do our tax series on SACOM 911 YouTube channel, we're also going to be bringing in tax agents. Now, these are not going to be your run-of-the-mill tax agents, but people who have had some experience in doing taxes. We're going to be asking them questions so to help you do your taxes. I showed you a simple example. Ladies and gentlemen, when I've done my taxes, this is how I've done them, where I've reported myself as a dependent. I, my mother did it as well. This was things that were common knowledge back then. The fact that it's not common knowledge now is amazing. You must understand the IRS deals with capacities. Pay attention. That's why they have these up here. The fact that they say check only one box, sorry, that's a suggestion, because what if more than one applies? Of course you can check more than one box. Okay, of course you can check more than one box. You can amend their forms all the time. So remember, this is an affidavit. This is an affidavit, people. Wait, wait, what do you mean it's an affidavit? Well, ladies and gentlemen, any document that you sign under penalty, see, under penalties of perjury, any document you sign under penalty is an affidavit. So how are you going to fill out something somebody else wrote saying that those are your words so yes by all means you get to augment this now do you have to indicate it here no you if you're the head of your household and you're married man then you will put married following either jointly or separately that's your choice okay but if you're following separately then you cannot say that your spouse is a dependent that you take care of but you can count her as a dependent i.e your spouse the same as she can count you as a dependent, i.e. her spouse. Even though you're filing separately, she still gets to label you as a dependent because you're both staying in the same home. And if she's providing part of the meals for the family, then she can count you as a dependent. Why? Because you have to know the laws. Now, the laws technically claim that there must be a separation as far as the amount of wages that are contributed by both members of the family. It's a technicality, but most tax, tax agents who focus on that technicality know what the limits are for taking care of a dependent. It's like if you had a child and your child was staying at one home half of the year and staying at the other home half of the year, both parents get to claim that child for the time that they were at each other's residence during that year. But technically, it's still a child that they take care of. Whether they are directly in their house or not, they are still providing for that child. So they still get to claim that child as a dependent. Whew, sorry. The tax law is not etched in stone, cut with a blade. The tax law is malleable. What is? What do we mean by malleable? It can be shaped and formed and blah, 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 caressed. Now, we're not here trying to tell people to do something wrong. As I told you. I'm not telling you what to do on your taxes. I am telling you how the tax law, the tax code by Congress was put together. Let somebody else who is a student of law, not a person who's a so-called tax agent. A tax agent is not a student of law. And we're not talking about them lawyers who think they know the law, but somebody who actually knows the law. Congress! And let them come and explain from the code that was written by Congress. You won't get it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, We'll be going over this information for those of you who are interested on the SACOM channel. Uh, you will just have to subscribe to that channel. It is the only time you've ever heard me say subscribe to anything. Okay? But you will have to subscribe to that channel if you want to be kept abreast, abreast of what's going on. Now, the Fraud and Homeowners of America, I am so glad we finally have you guys and your attention. Starting March... We're going to start assigning credits to the Defrauded Homeowners of America. We have quite a few credits to assign. Please understand, Defrauded Homeowners of America, we're going to be providing the information about the taxes, and we're going to, showing you, we're going to be showing you a uh, demonstration 
how to go about doing this. Now look, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I just need you guys to understand. What happens is we don't want to play with this too much. We Oh, it does let us save. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, it does let us save. That is what I, man, you have no idea because what's happening is when it restarted the last time, I couldn't save, but now it let me save. Look at that. It kept everything in its proper perspective. Okay, so it let me save. That's what I needed. Okay. Oh, and look, it put everybody's names in all caps. I didn't do that. It did that. Lord have mercy. So the fact that it let us save, we're going to be able to show you exactly now it says add form so we're going to go over this software and we're going to add a form let's see what form we're going to add because of course we're going to add schedule c get on out of here processing okay well we could add a w2 additional dependent statement there you go i definitely want an additional dependent statement okay so we're going to add our forms okay it's got a whole list of forms we get to add. Okay, and they got instruction millions. And you can go and click on instruction millions. Now remember, this website provides this information for free. And as we told you guys, it's free. Wow. Our free fillable forms.com. Free fillable forms.com. And these are the instructions for 1099, and I do like the PDF they have because the PDF is searchable. I can click on this, and it'll take me to the page. Oh, is that the page? Well, maybe. Oh, there it is. Okay, it'll take me to the page. Okay, there you go. That's all we need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are defrauded homeowners of America, people, and those of you who had received tax credits, we are going to show you how to document it as an expense and also document it as a credit the way it should be done, in my opinion. Okay? And get that information to you. However, we're not going to give you specific numbers and specific information because we don't want it to be one of those things where somebody flags your filing because you did exactly the same thing as Tom, Dick, Mary, Bob, and Jane, okay? Because the people who were doing that stupid, and you heard me say it here, stupid, OIG, junk, that was their problem. They were using templates. We're not going to be doing no templates here. Why would we do that? Your tax filing is supposed to be different than your neighbor's tax filings. You guys don't live in the same house. You don't have the same numbers. You're not working for the same person. So, no, we're not going to be playing that type of game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to go, but I wanted to give you this information just shortly so that you'll have it. The SACOM channel will have this information on taxes. We will not be giving you notice on this channel anymore after today. So you're just going to have to check that periodically. What's the SACOM channel? How do I get to it? Where is it located? Those are all good questions. Let's see if we can go there. Y O U T U the e.com so we're going to go to youtube.com ladies and gentlemen and when you go to youtube.com you're going to have a window similar to this when you get to this one you're going to go into this search bar the one that's in youtube not the main search bar but the one that's in youtube this search bar now watch this satcom s-a-t-c-o-m-m -M. then we're going to put 911 now be careful we're not just looking for every video on satcom 911 because there's too many Okay, see, too many videos. We're looking for this right here. Superman! We're looking for the capital S. Okay, so we're looking for this SACOM. And here is where you're going to see the videos. Okay, right now there's only five videos up here. But there will be more. So stay tuned. Have a good day, everyone. Nice speaking with you all today.